I'm trying to breathe deeply to calm myself, and it's not working because every time I take a deep breath, I get another lungful of the air of Sherwood Forest. This is Sherwood Forest. We are right here in the outskirts of Sherwood Forest, um, of Robin Hood fame. This is, according to legend, where Robin Hood camped with his merry men and launched occasional forays into Nottingham to foil the Sheriff of Nottingham's plans, and of course, the evil Prince John. And, and, and this is it. And we are camping here tonight. We are going to sleep under these trees on this dirt where Robin Hood and his merry men slept. Robin Hood was certainly one of my childhood heroes for lots of reasons that are easy to understand, right? Um, for one, he's an archer. Archery is cool. For two, he camps out in the woods all day. That's pretty cool. He also fights bad guys. That is very cool. As I've grown older, I get a little bit more appreciation for Robin Hood as kind of a bit of a liminal figure, you know? He's the kind of guy who is, uh, he's not nice, but he is good. Um, he's a threat to all the people around him. And so Robin Hood strikes me as the person who is a rebel, but who is also a good man. And that's something that we do need from time to time, is we need those who are willing to break rules in the right way. For sure, it's a tricky business. You know, Robin Hood was an outlaw, but he was an outlaw against an unjust law. There are also outlaws who are just outlaws. They're just bad people. But Robin Hood is an outlaw and a hero. And that's an incredible combination. I really like the symbolism of being on the outskirts of Sherwood Forest. We are right here on the edge of Robin Hood's world and ours. It's this liminal space where we in the 21st century who arrived here in a car and we're filming this with a camera can join for a moment with the world of Robin Hood that existed almost a thousand years ago. And that is a beautiful way to interact with history and legend. I'm making a leaf angel in Sherwood Forest. I think one of the reasons why I like the story of Robin Hood so much is because he really is the king of the forest. Technically, the, all the Sherwood Forest and all the deer in are owned by the king. There, it's his hunting ground. Robin Hood sets himself up as the de facto king of Sherwood Forest, right? And of everything that happens there. And that actually features in one of the stories about Robin Hood. There's some kind of baron or Norman lord um, that he's journeying into Sherwood Forest with and Robin Hood is in disguise. Robin Hood is saying to him, oh yes, you know, I have, I have land that I can sell you and I have many head of livestock that I can sell you and uh, at a very good price, at a very good price. And so this, this, this greedy baron is like, oh, 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 I will get all kinds of livestock and land at this very cheap price because I'm with this simpleton who doesn't know the value of his land and animals. And so they're going deeper and deeper into the forest and the baron begins to get nervous and he says, well, Robin Hood the outlaw lives here. I, how far away are your lands? Are we getting close? I'm worried about my safety. And Robin Hood says, we've been traveling through my lands for many hours now. The Baron says, and what about your head of cattle? And just then a herd of red deer come across the path and Robin Hood says, and there, there are my herd of cattle. And then of course he uh, invites the Baron over for dinner, takes all his money and sends him home, which is kind of the Robin Hood thing to do, is uh, if you're going to take people's money, you may as well at least feed them dinner first. Robin Hood said that these woods were his lands and that the king's deer were his livestock. And now after tonight, I have eaten Robin Hood's meat and I have slept in his house. And I think just a little bit, I might be one of his merry men. In the comments below, I would love to hear about places and things in your life that maybe other people find ordinary, but that you find to be deeply, deeply imbued with meaning. For me, Sherwood Forest is one and I'm really glad to be able to share that with you. 
If you're new to the channel, we'd sure enjoy for you to check out our other videos, which range from philosophy to bushcraft to ancient arts and crafts and everything in between. Maybe kind of a fusing of modern times, history, and legend. If you do like what you see, please hit the like button and give us a subscribe below. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Just gonna use my squirrel skills here to get out the chestnut. Oh, squirrel skills. Squirrel skills, squirrel skills. Ha ha, ha ha. Come here. Squirrel skills. I'm thinking maybe the squirrels left that one behind for a reason. Uh, that is looking pretty dry and nasty inside. Uh, don't have squirrel skills.